Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are rejoining Lila Bab, uh, who is still dressed like a burglar. Oh, yeah, there's something I remembered. Um, is I spent all that time shoulder checking uh, a tree the other time trying to smash it. We actually, of course, had a wood axe the entire time that I could have just uh, grabbed. Can I wield that? Can I wield the wood axe, please? Uh, stop wielding the spike on a stick. Yeah, sure, for now. For now. I just want to, I really just want to, we'll bring the wood axe and we'll, we'll drop it just here. There we go. And then I want, I want my spike on the stick back. Just don't want to forget that the, uh, the wood axe is a thing. And I could have just used that to smash the tree down previously. I want information about that. Can I examine? No. I got to grab it and then I press, it's not. I for information on it. Is it? Can I go a capital I? No. E for examine. There we go, yeah. Uh, it's a large 200 wood axe, bloody blah, blah, but we are interested in. Oh, it's got cut of 28 and bash of 14. It's a really good weapon with a tip bonus of zero, which is better than the, the spike I'm using currently. Although it won't have reach, so. Three tree cutting. It's got negative 36 butchering and one cutting quality. No, we still need something with hammering. Um. We've got our friends to the side, Liam, and of course over there was the corpse of our friend who we don't remember uh, the name of. A long time personal friend whose name we can't remember. We have plenty of food. Really, yeah. Canned corn, coffee powder, clam powder, curry pork and beans, uh, potatoes. I think that the... Uh, I think we can get this working as well if it's got like fuel, right? If we examine here, what what happens if I ask you to to start a fire? There's nothing to light there. Okay, but it is. Um, what is it? A wood stove, a simple metal stove for hosting wood-fueled fires. Yeah, good for cooking or heating food and safe to use indoors. Great. So if we had wood, of which there's plenty around, and we have a wood axe. We could we could cook food, which is great. Uh, we could cook food, keep warm. Of course, the the fridge is empty uh, and not running anyway. There's a pretty good setup here: cupboards, a fridge, um, wood stove. It's like a there's like a hidden area there, potentially. Or do we think that's just wall behind there? Can we do like a big grab of this, grab there, and just shift it out? Trying to move the heavy locker. Can we try again? Okay. Let go. It's just a wall. Fine. Let's uh, put the locker back in position if we can. There we go. Wonderful. So there's nothing of worth to be revealed behind there. There's just... Uh... I would love for you to move, by the way. Is it okay to just, like, gently push you? Push you. Don't close the door behind you! Rude. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's worth looking behind the bookcase, but... Uh, yeah, we've got... Consume it, pour it into a container. 24 from the toilet. Is toilet water clean? We have a source of water there, at least, but we do have other, other water kicking about as well. Um, I believe there's some in the storeroom. I may already have picked it up. Got energy cola, salt, toastums, candle toastums, condensed milk, flour, flare gun, hunting arrows, a quiver, and a hunting bow. Eggplant dehydrator. I think maybe maybe we've picked up the water already. Let's decide whose room's whose. This is just a living space. We need to tidy up quite a bit. Um, nice room. I think I want the slightly. Oh no, they're the same size, aren't they? I think we'll call this one ours. Okay. And we're gonna get a look at uh, Lila Babs for the first time. Take off the balaclava. Where is uh, where is that? There's no sense. 
Because the joke just didn't land. We arrived, we said hello to Liam, he just killed our friend whose name we can't remember. Um, it's a ski mask, so let's take that off. There's Lila Bab. What have you got? Short, like, short white hair? And I assume that went into our inventory. We don't necessarily need it. The game's intro to this one was, wasn't it? I'd never had, like, a text intro before. Uh, I think probably we can... Well, no, we do have a backpack. The swag bag might be useful. Is the... Is it worn? I want to go to armor, I think. No, maybe this isn't where I want to go. Where is the swag bag? Swag bag... Strapped to you on your left hand. Oh, it's strapped to left hand, okay. Water friendly and very bulky. Very high encumbrance. I think we should drop the swag bag and not not carry it. Um, so it's technically an item worn. It's got 15 fresh apples. Uh, 29 other items. A pair of bolt cutters. There's some of our clean water. Can we just drop the swag bag and everything in it? And then grab from here not fit in any pocket. Okay, gotcha. Oh, what, am I, what else am I carrying that like isn't worth me holding? Uh, those are items worn. We'll take a look at those in a second. The hacksaw, the jumper cable, the locksmith kit, the multi-tool, permanent marker. Uh, I guess the granola, the fruit juice, anything that's like food we can drop for the time being. Keep the bandages. Drop that. Uh, we'll keep the ibuprofen and the antiseptic, at least some of it anyway. Four should suffice for the time being. Instruction manual, off the road? What is off the road? Is it, it's a manual? Let's drop those. We'll leave them here for like, reading later. We don't need both disposable batteries, in fact we've got enough battery in the flashlight we already have. Cash cards are light. Cardboard roll. Oh, right, yeah, with the 87 duct tape. Which we're not going to need for where we're going, I don't think. The nails we're not going to need. There's loads of those. Wow. Um, keep one matchbook. Industrial ID card we'll keep. And we'll keep the sunglasses, I guess, for like. Just in case of glare. Can I now grab anything that I couldn't before? Yeah, I can. I can fit more in my pockets now. But what are we wearing still in terms like clothes? Bra panties, pair of socks, pair of sneakers, uh, striped shirt, which I'm, I'm pretty sure is just part of our burglar outfit. Yellow hoodie with four items in it. What have you got in it? Um, I don't think it says on this menu. Pair of light gloves, which we'll keep on. Black camo pants. 25 drugs slash 33 items. Not sure what that means. A wristwatch, which is great, and a stethoscope, which we technically don't need to be carrying with us, but I don't... Uh, I don't know, is that causing any encumbrance, the stethoscope? Coverage, very little. No protection, and like, very little in terms of, um... Like, one encumbrance. Very little coverage or encumbrance, that's fine. That's just an accessory, essentially. We're fine taking that with us and our long pointy stick. Hey, Liam. Uh, I think I'm going to leave you here. I'm just nipping out for a bit. My plan, I think. Okay, we want to get to... What time of day is it? I... There it is. 1.02. Yeah, so it's early afternoon. We're going to go for a beer run, Liam. How's that sound? Do you want to come? Do you want to stay? I just, I kind of don't want you, I don't want to get you killed, is the thing. Actually, I don't want you to get us both killed, essentially. I don't want you drawing unwanted attention. And I feel like I, as a professional burglar, would have a much easier time on my own. So I'm thinking of heading to Cape Elizabeth. Sneaking in and trying to get to the liquor store? 
and then sneaking back. We do have to go past a sewage treatment plant, which should be fine. A trailhead, again, that should be fine. Meteorology station, I can't imagine that's going to be any trouble. A mansion, which will be, because I'm thinking we're going to go this way around. There's no sense in going through the forest. What is that in the middle of the forest, by the way? Is that something? Just a field, okay. And we've already been to the, the orchard. We should also be on the lookout for a tool with hammering. Question is, um, I want to take the axe as well. Doesn't fit in any pocket. I could I could create a harness for the axe. Uh, but there should be two cars here, right? There's not. Okay, so I guess this is. I don't know which one of us drove. One of us drove here. The other one didn't. Is this my car or Liam's car? I'm 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 unsure, but I'm borrowing it. Borrowing it anyway. Make sure all the doors closed before we do that. Uh, also, yeah, the boot needs to be closed. Uh, either. No? Hang on. Close, close the boot. Yeah, I was in the way. Uh, close, and I think we're all good. We can drive. Good. Okay. And we did check this. I think this car had loads of fuel. So, just very simple. Driving slowly forwards. Um, we're upside down, so this way? There we go, onto the trail there. Dog should stay out of the way. Dog! I don't want to run you over, dog. I know dogs like to chase cars sometimes. And they shouldn't. We should be on the lookout for dog food too, because I do want to um, tame one of the neighboring nearby dogs. That would be great. Tom, if you run over a dog, I will scream. Okay, I'm not going to run over a dog. Everything's fine. I I avoided the dog. I only ran over some blue jays last episode, and that wasn't even Lila. Lila has done nothing wrong. Uh, so... Okay, so hammer? Something with hammering. We can always make something with hammering. I just forget, like, how. Try to avoid things in the street as well. Go around that, whatever it is. Around it? Thank you. Uh, could be moose. The wasp lunges at the big snail, but they dodge. Am I missing... The wasp hits the big snail. The big snail dies. There you go. The big snail's dead. I'm sure all that's fine. Very rarely pay attention to the notes there. Should I pay attention more attention to the notes there? He didn't dodge that one. Oh, the uh, oh yeah, the the big snail. <laughs> the big snail dodged the first wasp attack. Gotcha. Uh, how close are we to the orchard there? Okay. I can't remember. We, we're taking a proper look around the orchard, haven't we? So I don't... How fast am I going, by the way? 19 kilometers per hour. Is it worth another look in the orchard? Or do I distinctly remember visiting and there not being much for us to see? Oh, yeah, I had a bunch of boxes. There was nothing in there. There was very little in there. That's where we got the apples from. There was the, the wood lice. And the llamas! Oh, if we could tame a llama, that'd be great. They all did flee into the orchard itself. Llamas and dogs. I remember there was a bunch of tools in the rear of both vehicles, but I don't think any of them were a hammer. I like that there was a snail ducking and weaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're all a lot... Snails are all a lot more, a lot more agile than you think. Are snails? There's a wasp that is aware of me, but is not hostile. I don't think. I think. Oh god, what makes wasps hostile then? I'm not sure about that because I've never.
They get quite aggressive, don't they? If you get close enough to them. What's the situation here? Just a bunch of birds who refuse to fly instead of waddling along the... It's the main thing birds do, guys. Stupid ostriches. Uh, there's a lot of forest to, like, sift through. Uh, it was a completely different run where we encountered the... Uh, what do you call them? But we're okay. Don't go near them and don't be anywhere around them while they're doing a fight. It seems to be the move. Oh, wasps. Yeah, I thought you were still talking about snails. That's a cabin. We don't need to check for like fuel or anything because we are actually we're so good for fuel in this vehicle at the moment. Although that car looks to be in good condition too. I could I could make a note of it being there. Yeah, we can make a quick uh, note. Is it capital N to do that? Uh, yeah. There is a car here. Sure, that'll do. Uh, we can go a bit faster than this. Do we want to go right or left? It is to the right, however. Rural church? Rural church. It was a big snail. It was a big snail. How big? Did you see it? I didn't see the snail. How big is a big snail? You've got files on that sort of thing, right, Fruity? I do want to go to this church, because church... wine, right? Um, stop driving. The area looks safe. A lot of the stuff I've seen while playing uh, in this session and the previous session has been new to me. Rural church I've never seen before either, I think it might be brand new, yeah. This big, yeah, thank you. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. That is pretty big for a snail. Um, I've stopped driving. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's close our car. I think we're okay. Everything looks quiet from the outside. It's got like stained glass. Um, sorry, it's got like stained glass windows. That's what this is, right? High stained glass window. Oh, so it extends up to like the next level as well, uh, which we can take a look at by doing this. No, we cannot. I cannot see the stained glass window extending any higher than that. If I get a bit closer, can I? That'd be okay. No, okay, fair enough. Okay. Allman Christian Bible. King James Bible. Competing Bibles right here. Competing Bibles living side by side. Hmm. Uh, we've got... Book of Philosophy, 44, copy of The Unique and Its Property by Max Stirner, a modern translation by Wolfie Landstriker. Okay, we're going to leave that. I don't think philosophy is going to help us too much. What's this? A thorb. A long, loose-fitting robe with wide sleeves. A traditional Arab garment. Wimple. Uh, icon? What's an icon? Small picture about the size of an ID card symbolizing a religious figure. On the back there is text that faintly reads New England Church Community. Uh, yeah, but we, we I'm going to assume that they keep the um, there are a lot of religious artifacts here. This probably is new. I've never seen this before. A long crimson cape that reaches the ankles worn by Catholic priests for ceremonious occasions. Uh, a lighter? That actually is worth uh, worth having, isn't it? The lighter. Uh, Kufi cap. Apologies if I'm pres apologies if I'm mispronouncing. I'm mispronouncing a lot, so it's fine. Um, clay oil lamp. But yeah, the lighter. The lighters would be good to to pick up if we see those. These are. 
candlesticks. But are they candlesticks or are they candlesticks with candles? Brass candlestick with I don't think they don't have candles. No. Simple. Uh, another King James Bible. We're gonna we're gonna assume there's two for King James, one for the other one. So King James Bible is winning in this church. Book of Philosophy Umbrella How useful is an umbrella if it rains? I think really what we want is a raincoat if it rains. I think I've got a hoodie on, so if it does rain, character Lila will put her hood up. Which I think is like an automatic action, isn't it? Uh yeah, may as well. Why not take a why not take a rain hood? Sure. That since we're talking about that sort of thing. Clay oil lamp. Clay oil lamp with no kerosene. Right, it's clay. Is that a specialized uh, small clay container with a, with a wick, an ancient form of oil lamp, blah blah blah. Unlike newer designs, it isn't it isn't windproof, so the flame is likely to be extinguished if exposed to wind. Better use it indoors. It does not provide much light, but it lasts a long time. Use it to use it to light it. That could be quite useful, actually. Uh, if we ever found oil for it, which I don't think would be too hard to get. Uh, a nun habit. Another Thorb. Matchbook will take. I mean, we're here for wine. We're here for wine. I haven't seen my friends in such a long time. One of them is dead. Which is rude, to be honest. Who shows up dead to a party, right? I mean, I know it's not a party. I know it's the end of the world, but... Uh, no, just here, please. Holman Christian Bible. I think that's 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 two apiece. Uh, and they've got... Uh, braziers or braziers here. I think I think it's pronounced brazier, right? Uh, have we got anything in the back? Because you haven't got what I'm looking for. Maybe they've got like a wine cellar. A siddur or prayer book contains the set order of prayers for Jewish religious services. Are we a a a Jewish church now? Maybe it was multi-denominational. Double hood OP. Yeah, but I think the hoodie hood being made of like um like like cotton will soak the water, won't it? Whereas a rain hood um uh how do we activate? Like that. Alright, the place is empty. Uh lemon lime soda, sure. I mean, I'll take it. A fish sandwich, still fresh. An old microwave burrito. I'm not going to say no to food. Two cast iron pots. It's just, it's none of this is what I'm looking for. Frying pans, fire extinguisher. Uh, garlic, maple syrup, dried rice, flour. It's, it's a lot of ingredients, but not a lot of... Just straightforward foodstuffs. What kind of church doesn't have wine? Come on. Wait. There's another flight of stairs. There are bathrooms. Broom, bucket. Collapsible mop. Oh god, we could do with a bucket and mop. Liam's friend left such a mess when he died and stuff. Uh, bleach. Pair of rubber boots, pair of rubber gloves, actually actually useful stuff if ever we come like across a zapper, right? They're they're good for mm, I'll take the gloves. Um I need like a backpack. Paper, scrub brush, so I can carry more. Twenty detergent. The uh hydrogen peroxide and the two to no, we'll just take that, it's fine. Just another bathroom. We'll take this other flight of stairs up, I guess. There's nothing to pick up nearby. So what, what, what I'm looking at here, what's this? A bulletin board. Can I examine it? Can I read it? Uh, this bulletin board is not inside a camp. Okay, so I... Are you telling me I can't read it then? It seems not. Okay. 
we go. No wine. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Like a whole church and stuff. New, seemingly quite safe little little refuse there from. Oh, wait, I should turn off my torch. There we go. And we'll, we'll continue on to uh, beyond the mansion. Now, a mansion would be great to raid for, like, alcohol, wouldn't it? But also terrible on account of all the zombies. Uh, can we, like, can I, like, can I drop some stuff in the, uh, the boots here? Trunk. Like, I don't need to be carrying the oil lamp or the the hacksaw, really, for the time being. Jumper cable can stay in the car at all times, really. Um, let's drop a couple of lighters. Locksmith kit, that's uh, very personal to me, a burglar. Multi-tool I'd like to have. Let's drop anything that was, like, food. And uh, at least two of these matchbooks and the gloves. Keep the rain hood on our person for the time being, I think. Oh, you saw... <laughs> it was your torch doing that. I thought you left the church. Hallowed and haloed. Yeah. It does look like a halo whenever you've got the torch active. Um, let's just... Let's reverse. Let's reverse and... Uh, turn the wheel this way. Nope, entirely the wrong way. I did not mean to turn that way. That's fine. Reversing is more difficult. Everybody knows that. That's fine. 45 is probably way too fast, actually. Put that, put that down a bit. And also, get a wider view, for Christ's sake. There we go. Uh, this is the way. Yes, okay. We're, we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine here. I have a long, pointy stick. That's how I know everything's going to be fine. As long as we can... Don't worry about the big explosion to the northeast. That was probably just... We're not even head heading that way, but let's... Uh, we'll take a peek as we go past. It's just a crater. Everything's fine. Pretty sure the game just spawns craters as you go onto their like, world tile. And it spawns them by just exploding the land. Doesn't mean anything. I think we want to go... Okay. We see a lot of zombies, because of course we're approaching a... Ah, uh, yeah, zombie child. They're all to the south. They're... Well, actually... Oh, that's just a duck. Fear the duck. That's probably our biggest threat right now. Just passing by. Nobody needs to concern themselves with... Uh, with us gone before you know it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, mansions are always crawling with zombies. I've never known one not to be. Which is what makes the mansion start so difficult, right? What was this place? This, was, this has to be like the, the sewage place? Meteorology station. Meteorology station is worth a look at some point. But not right now. Unless... Are meteorologists famously alcoholics? I don't know. I know nothing of meteorologists. They predict the weather? Uh, we can... What's the, uh, what's the point? No display part at mount. That's okay. Last time we got that message, we, we had crashed. But I don't think we... Oh, I think it's maybe one of these cars. I think vehicles have... Things called mounts, which is supposed to have display points or something, and uh, maybe one of these vehicles here is missing a display point. There are there are zombies here, and there are oh there are guns. Let me just take a quick peek. Yeah, there are cops, and there are there's searchlights. There's no turrets, so nothing to fear there. There's a Glock carry pistol. 
There's a few of those, and there are some 45 ACP full metal jacket rounds, there are some 00, zero shot slugs, there are some 28mm and 19mm uh, JHP, which is jacketed hollow point, and oh, there is a rifle of some description, a Ruger Mini 14 Carbine 1. I have no idea if any of that's good. And the zombie situation here is really, really manageable. We could deal with that. No problem. It's just a searchlight. There doesn't seem to be a turret anywhere. There's also a backup generator, which I don't know if that's... Uh, that'll be useful. Um, if we could transport it back to... There's another crater. Don't worry about the crater. It's just half a crater. Just half a crater. Just a itty bitty half a crater. <laughs> God, there's so many craters. There's also so many of these. Uh, yeah, again, another generator that is active. This vehicle's in good nick. There's more zombies. One of these would be easy to deal with. One of these, um, uh, I don't know what it is. Road pavement. Kevlar vest. Something happened here. What went down here? Pulped corpse of a human. Okay, yeah. They had a Kevlar vest, police duty belt. These on this road are definitely worth coming back for at some point. For sure. We're just going to cut across the grass for now. 12 miles per hour. That's not a problem. Uh, avoid whatever that is. It looks like a rock, maybe. Speed up a bit. I think we're heading north from here. Uh, we are, and then we could maybe cut across the field, but we're going to be approaching Cape Elizabeth, and I'm going to want to uh, keep things a bit more quiet as we do. Did leave my ski mask back at home, and my swag bag, actually. Now that I think about it, the swag bag probably would have been ideal for this particular operation. I probably should have brought the swag bag with me. But, you know, something about hindsight, blah de blah Who needs hindsight? I think that's it. That's the thing. Uh, let's get a bit faster. I don't, I don't know if it actually is faster, like, in game terms. Because it has to, it starts to... What is that? Gen genuinely, what is that? Oh, it's a... Feral Prepper. Okay. So you were a prepper, you've got tents and like a like a van that you've weaponized. And you've surrounded this little campsite with traps, but you have gone feral. Those are bad guys. Yeah, definitely. The the, the feral part is uh is the giveaway there somewhat, isn't it? How close to too close, really? Too close to Cape Elizabeth for this, um... And we've been seen by zombies. Which is not ideal, but we've got a lot of space over this side. We've got a nursing home. To the north there is another... that's another cemetery. I really just want to go to the liquor store. I get a sense for, like, what the situation is ahead. It's uh, not a very good view of the situation ahead, to be honest. I'm just going to try and skirt across the field and pull around closer to the cemetery and... Uh, I don't think we can get close enough to the liquor store to see it. There are zombies on... They're not paying attention to me, they're going the other way. Right? I ask and... Something's drawn their attention the other way. They're not coming this way. That's weird. The feral prepper... feral prepper would probably have guns, yeah.
But I think I could run... Okay, we've got some noise there. More zombies around the back. There's loads of zombies around the town. Oh, and we're not even... Yeah, okay. Let, let me just uh, cut like this and then drive north. With the boulder. And we're at the other side of the town now, I believe. Yeah, heading towards the cemetery. Light industry out this way. Which is where I'd prefer to direct myself towards, if I could. A lot of zombies around that town. Um, and we're here in the daytime, which is not not ideal really either. Let's make a getaway and head this way to Light Industry and uh, park up down there, get a bit of uh, bit of quiet and think things through for a little bit. Because I was going to say these places are usually empty but on this occasion um, they're not. I suppose, I, 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 yeah, Okay, you know, this just it's just not empty. Fair enough. That's fine. I can live with that. Just passing through then. The force of the explosion destroys several items. Yeah, of course it does. That's fine. What am I looking at here, by the way? More zombies. And what are these? Just hummingbirds. Okay, hummingbirds. Very pretty hummingbirds. Genuinely very pretty hummingbirds. Okay, Lila. Does this change your plans, Lila? Now that we know that the the town is overrun with zombies and the liquor store is gonna be kind of tricky to get to, we can drive around and make a whole load of noise. It looks like no. Some of them are some of them are coming this way, and others are. Oh, this is definitely veering off in the, in the other direction. There's a zapper there, isn't there? This here. Zapper zombie. Best avoided. Driving south through the field is, is totally fine. Just let everything save and uh, we'll loop back around and get back on the road and everything will be... Everything will work out absolutely fine. I've done... I've done a liquor store heist before. Lila doesn't know this. Lila's a professional burger, but burger burglar, and I have done a liquor store heist before, so we're we're gonna be okay. It's just a little bit of daylight robbery; it's no big deal. Okay, so the feral prepper probably has guns, and if not, they will be throwing rocks. Professional burger. Now the other guy was a professional burger. The food person. Okay, let's just drive on up to the establishment, and if needs be, we can reverse. I think needs, yeah, needs are going to have us reversing before long. Yeah, this is too sketchy for... But there it is, there's the liquor store. We just have to open that, and in here will be booze. Oh, but look at this. We're not the only people who had that idea. Oh, the prepper fell in one of his own pits. What a stupid idiot. He might resolve himself. Oh, fruity. Oh. That's the play, though. That's all we need to do. Okay, can I, I probably don't thread the needle here. No, we'll reverse back out of this situation, it's totally fine. Uh, I don't mind doing that, just slam into reverse super quickly. There we go. We want to get as much attention as we can and drive them south toward the prepper. So I think that means, yeah. Well, maybe not as much attention as we can, but like uh, enough in the southern part of town. Let's slow down a bit before, so that we don't crash. Not be ideal to like crash the car before accomplishing plan, drive all the zombies into a pit. 
How dense is the uh We maybe have a better time like driving south down this road. Or just heading south of the town and making a lot of noise there, because we can beep the horn. Yeah, okay, let's try to avoid damage to the car for the time being. Just slam it back into reverse. Are we this side of that ump post? I think so. I think so. I think so. Yes, we're good. From about here, let's uh, head for. Oh, do we want to go? Do we want to go north of the town, like drive through it, having no idea how dense the zombies are in town, or do we want to go south of the town and try to? We want to go south of the town. We want to try and because we only the only thing we want to do is in the south of the town. So I don't think this road connects, does it? No. We have to cut back across the field to get across to, um, to our prepper friend and his lovely, lovely uh, set of spiked pits. And we'll just uh, slow down a bit so that you all can keep up if you want. We'll do this a few times. We'll try to have a look out for the... I did... Okay, the prepper is... Okay. We don't like... Uh, we don't like that the prepper is there. Because he's human and ferals are generally smarter than zombies, so I don't trust that he's going to fall in his pit over and over again. Uh, what is the... Although, yeah, you're in bad condition. Feral Prepper can see your location. At a quick glance, this person would suggest that they have prepared well, blah de blah Yeah, but uh, can we get a sense for, like, what he's holding? Or what they're holding, or...? Um... Not right now. Moderately injured, about as fast as me. Medium size, feral. Hearing, sight, and smell. It can climb. It has a head. Yep. We prefer it not to have that. That's fine. I've got a head too. Okay. It says mace, but I'm pretty sure I've been shot by feral preppers. Fetal preppers? You've probably not been shot by fetal preppers. Feral preppers, yes. Fetal ones? That sounds a lot more dangerous for the mother than for you. Although, they'd be a hell of a shot if they managed to hit you from, from there. We're gonna... I'm trying to decide whether to run them over, but like I, I want to keep the car in good nick, so I'm probably probably not going to go straight for them. We're going to see what, if anything, you try to attack us with as we go past. Like, seemingly nothing, right? No rock thrown. Howling in terror. Zombie struggles to stand. I hear, hmm. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I haven't got a weapon. I haven't got any, like, ranged weapons. So if it just says that the prepper has a mace, let me just, uh, God, let me tr let me slow down then. Uh, speed up a little bit so that the car straightens out. I hate getting in like a janky vehicle. Let's just uh, stop the car here, and we will. Okay. Remember where we parked. What can we see, if anything? Nothing at the moment. They're all behind his tents and stuff. Okay. What's over here? What? What? What, what is? And why did I take a step? I, I wasn't meaning to take a step. What is over there? What's that? What's this? Trashy rubble and sewage. Metal wreckage. Just. Just sewage and. Something. Some. Some sort of crashed something. Right. Okay. That's fine. Um, I've closed the hatchback's door, but I don't know that I necessarily want the hatchback's door to be closed. 
I maybe want it open so that, uh, okay, we can see the prepper now. No, nope, prepper, please. Where are you? Relative to me. Okay, you're north of your own your own traps. That's that's fine. I want to ignore. God damn it. Hang on. I want to ignore. And I want to go uh, north. I want to get a sense for what you do. And are you just going to run back into your own trap? Would love for. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's just the prepper still. I think you are as well. Like you're not. No. Okay, the prepper is smart enough to avoid their own traps, so I don't. I don't know what led them into their trap in the first place. They didn't seem to be throwing anything at us. So how fast are you? About as fast as. But you're more injured. And I. Yep, I'm I'm armed with my pointy stick. I think we can take you on. Unless you start throwing things. Which you have not. You've not started throwing anything. Okay. Yeah. Well he he avoided them this second time, so I don't know how Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Alright, let's get to a run, because he can't catch us at a run. And all I have to do is just keep on outpacing you. We got a hit. Didn't do much damage though, but you're bleeding. <sighs> I'm not very good with this thing yet. It's doing the trick though. Okay, I can hear my own heart racing, but, ah, oh, come on, come on, just, just go down, one more hit, you probably bleed out at this point anyway, but, one more hit, okay, I've been hit, um, I'm staggered off balance, bandages on my torso were damaged, the feral prepper hits my torso with a pipe, with a pipe, how dare you sir? <laughs> How are you not dead? Oh, was that me again? Right leg with a pipe. I don't appreciate that. There we go. Um, let's go back to a walk. I see no other enemies. Okay, good. Smash the goddamn corpse. You have got bikini bottoms. Okay, briefcase with uh, alpha male quarterly, a carving knife. Dude had a gun. Dude had a gun. Dude had a gun he just wasn't using. Or she, because of Bikini Bottoms, right? I, I generally don't know how you tell after, after the fact, but I, I think it's possible. Um, dude had a gun. Block carry pistol. Uh, pork and beans. Survival kit with flares, flint and steel. Water purification tablets, a whistle multi-tool. Awesome, let's take that. I don't know if a whistle functions the same as a dog whistle, but I do know you can use a dog whistle to, like, command a dog. Um, can I carry water purification tablets loose? I'm going to assume I can. He had an Uzi 32 magazine. The Glock, the Glock is loaded as well, right? Yeah. Dude just had a operational gun. Pipe is more intimidating than gun. Is it though? Is it really? Because I didn't feel super intimidated. Okay, well we're taking... We're taking that. Uh, what else do we want? Probably the pork and beans. Um... And steel could be useful. I've already selected a couple of other things. Do we want the Uzi magazine? Guy doesn't have an Uzi, so... Guy also had a nail bat and a pipe mace, uh, but was beating me up with a pipe, right? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I want. So we have a gun, which this is is a is a very solid thing to obtain. Let's try to. We are walking, so we should be getting our stamina back very slowly. Let's just try to go north and see if we can find these uh, zombies and attract some attention. Because zombies can't climb. I think once they fall in, my spiky stick is almost broken. Okay, yeah, I, that was a problem. Uh, it's not as durable as a spear, is it? Actually, my spiky stick is broken. Is that... I think the XX means completely broken, so functionally useless. We might as well drop that, to be honest. Uh, that's not great. What did he have? Mace? He had like a, a pipe mace? Uh, no, I, I need other thing. I need things for for pointing, for jabbing, really. For it to be broken is not ideal. Have you all seen me, by the way? You have. I would like for others to see me too. That would be great. I might get close, as close as I can. Like. Uh, just, uh, just put some distance between us. How fast are you? A bit slower than. Slower than. Zombie runner is faster than. Okay, so we might need to run, but let's. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yell. Hey. They're gonna. Hey. Come here a minute. And that's gonna, that's gonna get their attention. The more exclamation parts, the louder, of course. So, add a few more of those. Hey, come here a minute, and that's gonna do effectively nothing for me. The zombie runner is probably the biggest problem here, but we can head south and everything will be fine. We'll probably reach the pits before the runner catches up anyway. Oh, oh, do we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Zombie runner has fallen in a pit. If I just place myself here, does the zombie runner get out of the pit? I don't. I don't know. Like it. It moved. It made it into a different part of the pit. Stunned, heavy arterial bleeding, and stuck in a pit. Stuck in a pit. We're probably fine. What is this? Wood saw. Okay. Don't need that. What is that over there? Is that is that anything useful to me? It's a pointy stick. Okay, which is a weapon? Um, okay, I can't really get any information about it, but that, that could be useful. Remember that the pointy stick is there. It's not as good as a point on a stick or whatever the hell I was using, but there goes another zombie. I don't think they can get out. I think they just stay... Okay, they can get out. They can get out. I didn't know. How uh how how healthy You're gonna you're gonna die anyway. You might might reach my location, so I'm just gonna just gonna nip over this way. And I expect you to fall back in a bit, actually. Thank you. That's great. Uh what's with the Oh, the warning is because they're in there, but they haven't been pulped, so they will, they will resurrect. Okay. Uh, did we draw any other attention or no? Just this guy. Okay. He was yeah. going to take his time. And that's something I hadn't considered: is that the spikes are going to expire as well. I'll try to draw you over to these ones. There you go. Have you fallen in? I think you have. Okay, you've gotten back out though. You've fallen back in. Good. Yeah. There you go. Not having a good time, are you? I can take one of these pointy sticks then, or at least examine one. Two pointy sticks, but they're not long pointy sticks. So they just have nine pierce and no. The whole the whole point of the pointy stick I've been using is that it has reach. So these are no good. 
These are no good. Okay. Different plan. Different plan. This looks like a different plan. Wouldn't mind, uh... How much fuel? Enough? Most damaged is an integrated cooler. It's got enough wheels. It's dented. It looks to be in working condition. And it has... A spiked ram. The great thing about it is it's not mine, so... I don't really have to worry about it. Short bow, arrows... Okay. We'll raid this guy's place before we... Uh, I'll take the lighter. I'll take the fresh carrot. A uh, pair of fit over sunglasses? No. There's just a plank. What is this? Long wooden post. There's not really time for binoculars. Super useful. I'll take those. Take a look at your what's inside your van in just a second. There are, for the meantime, a couple more tents to check. This was all this one one dude's work, was it? Or did they just get rid of uh, whoever was here first? Battery's draining, but I think it's because the cooler is on. Maybe. Hunting knife? Hunting knife? Pretty good, I think. Take it anyway. Nothing on there. Okay. Okay, we do want to close that. If I close that, where's the entrance, though? Is it this side? It looks like it's this side. Great. Close. Grab from here. Uh, mineral waters. Dope. Um... Cape Elizabeth Survivor's map will take Thermos, actually useful. Great. First aid kit with um, these bandages, bandages, another instruction book, we've already got one. Medical gauze, which actually has bandaging quality, right? Apply to wounds, yep. Medical tape, which is kind of useless. Scissors. Uh, Septimilibaba. Septimilibaba is a mild painkiller. Sure, I'll take some Septimilibaba. Um, small plastic bottle with antiseptic, saline solution, large fire extinguisher, there's a toolbox with wrench, box cutter knife. Just take the battery from the flashlight. Locking pliers, multi-tool, socket screwdriver set. I don't think I want anything else. And then there's just, uh, just various equipment there. Okay. So I think I'm in the driver's seat. Looks like a nice little survival event. It does. It's about to get potentially wrecked. So it fails to start. Okay. Interesting. 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 Why is that? Can we like work out why? The controls are fine. The integrated cooler is busted. The security system's busted. Um, I think it might be because the cooler is on, battery's draining. But like, hang on, there, there is enough charge left in the battery, isn't there? 29%. It's 10 hours until empty, so when we say the cooler's on, sure, but we don't mind. It's stuttered out. I've let go of the controls. Um, what are we getting here? Nothing? We're getting nothing out of it. Nothing. Nothing at all. I do have my own car and jumper cables, but I'd, I really wouldn't know where to begin with that. Turn on the engine, turn off fridge. Space heater. Recharger, dome lights, headlights, turn on the engine. It fails to start. I don't think this is going to work, is it? It's not going to work. M to see what's faulty 
in engine from the car menu, from the like examine menu from examine vehicle M. Engine faulty. Worn drive belt required for operation of an attached alternator. Faulty fuel pump required to pump gasoline from a vehicle's tank. Ah, gotcha. So that's why it's busted is because the engine requires replacement parts. Okay, so that there goes that plan. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that this is Liam's car, not my car. And, you know, some things have got to take priority, don't they? So... Engine thirsty, can't get fuel, fuel pump, yeah. Okay. So that, that, that was a bust. We have no other weapons. Uh, but can I draw anybody away? We've got a zombie ahead. Yeah, of course we do. That's fine. I don't mind that. The one coming up on our east side. That's totally fine. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Because ideally... Okay. It's going to veer around this side of you. Okay, that should uh, that should be fine for the next stage of the plan, which is to very quickly slam it into reverse. Uh, and then I don't know which way to like turn the stick. But okay, what I want to do, actually, I don't know how to how to honk the horn. I did that. Fair enough. Reverse a little bit further. Honk the horn. Honk the horn. It looks like time doesn't pass when I'm doing that. Let's get as far back as, as here. And just honk the hell out of that horn. And then we're going to start... Actually, we might as well honk it again a couple of times. And then we're going to... Um, slam it back into forward gear. Fast as we like. 32. There are a lot of zombies who are aware of me on the minimap there. Let's take a look at who we can see. No, there's not that many that are aware of me. But a bunch more will presumably come and investigate the noise. And uh, maybe that does something for us here. Meanwhile, we get back into forward gear. And drive this way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we, 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 we definitely attracted a bunch more attention. Uh, so slow down. Slow down, not, not, not speed up. Down to like six, because they're really slow. We just want to draw as many of them as we can away from town. South, not ideal, really, since I'm heading home south, eventually. But, you know... Also, actually, we do get a sense of, like, where, um, where's noise? Sound? Oh, 125. Wow. Okay, the, the horn is quite loud. 125 is... Gonna, it's basically going to cover half of Cape Elizabeth, isn't it? I may have made a mistake, you know. This may not, um, may not go the way I would like it to. And we might, we might need to consider other options. The, uh, because the run is not going that successfully so far. The, uh, the beer run. There is the retirement home. And there is, what's this? Derelict property. Not that helpful. My industry wasn't helpful. There was um, sewage treatment plant. No. And there was just the mansions and the orchard. And the orchard didn't have cider. It didn't even have cider. To my recollection. Anyway, I don't remember cider being there. Church had no wine. Rude. There's a goddamn moonshine still in the woods. There's a better option. 
than trying to raid this liquor store. I just don't know if those... Uh oh. Uh oh, is that... Yeah, okay, just try to avoid that. We almost hit it, but we're okay. I can no longer see the zombies, so let's try and get a... Oh, hello, we've created a little bit of a horde. These weren't on the map before, were they? We've definitely... And we're aware of a horde over by the nursing home as well. Ah, oh god, what's 125? Like, if each tile is 16, and I think the sound refers to how many tiles it, like, goes across, then we're talking, like, where... Where was I? I was, like, here beeping the horn? We're talking... 125 tile radius, which, for, like, these overworld tiles is going to be... Each one's 16. Um, short of 10, definitely. But like, like what, 8 overworld tiles? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe all the way to out there. And it'll cover all of Cape Elizabeth. I think I've screwed up. I think making all that noise was a bad plan. And what I've done is rather than lead them away from the liquor store, I've just led them to the liquor store. What I probably want to do instead is get north of the town, try to get them to go that way, like away from me and away from what I actually want. There are zombies, let me give a few more horn honks. This road may be clear now, to be honest, like it's, it's, it's clear-ish. It's not clearish. Tom, look ahead. All that. Okay. We're gonna back down from that plan. That 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 was a that was a lousy plan. Yeah, let's just reverse back from there. That's not gonna work. We are getting a bit more attention. Uh, yeah, and the only other viable uh, idea. There's so many more. Are these all? They're all like heading in that direction, aren't they? We've drawn it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've drawn attention from the northwestern part of town. And I think they've all generally been heading down there because the horn really is that loud. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, now we know. Now we know. Which means we know that the plan kind of works. There's also something happening here. What's happening here? Petrified person. Minor bleeding and grabbed. What? That's new. I'm so sorry, petrified person. There's very little that I can... There's very, very little that I can do for you now. Oh my god, there's more! Panicked person. Panicked person grabbed. Uh, grabbed, parentheses, 20. Grabbed, parentheses, 20. I don't know what that means. The, uh, the, n the number value. But these are new. Actual people being attacked by the zombies. That's, that's quite new. They're also... For some reason, this one has the um, a sprite in the sprites that I'm using, and these ones do not. So I guess petrified person does, panicked person does not, and panicked person is using the uh, the the default sprite set. You hate to see someone get twenty grabbed. Yeah, I'm not. I, does it mean like you could conceivably have been grabbed by two, this one and this one? So are you also grabbed by two, maybe this one and this one, and there's this third one. So is it just a multiple of 10? I don't know. Can do fuck all about it for them. They're going to have to just, um, well, panic 
be petrified, vaguely kind of die. There's there's very little else I can do. Unfortunately, the place really is crawling with zombies, and I have gotten them all like riled up, which uh, yeah is not not super ideal. Uh, zoom back in. What a, what was the speed? Zero. Okay, we're gonna just beep the horn a bit here, um, and then just zoom out. Let a bit of time pass, and probably, probably, we're gonna set off driving. And we're gonna leave town, and next time I next time I come back to town, hopefully. There aren't um, as many zombies in the southernmost part of town. Hoping, hoping. Can we get? We've drawn a lot of attention from inside here as well. Like a lot, a lot. But I just want to get back on the road south because this is a. This idea is kind of non-working for now. Secondary problem is if I leave the zone of like the house and stuff. Sorry, not the house, the town. Um, the zombies are going to stop spawning, but it should remember what their intention was. Like next time I, can we go this way? Um, can we go this way though? Yeah, we can go this way. That's fine. Okay. Good stuff. And over a bit, and just yeah, that's fine. That's that's totally fine. I don't mind that. I don't know what that is. What is that? What, what, what can I see? Cottontail rabbit. Squirrel. Crow. All good. All fine. Alright, back on the road again. We'll grab some booze from the uh, moonshine still on the way back. What, um... Sorry. Oh, I didn't even check the uh, thing on this. Maybe I had. There's a cucumber sandwich, anyway. Does not fit in any pocket. Uh, this way, please. And what's my speed? 19? Yeah, 19's safe. There's no way you guys are being drawn out because of the horn, is there? Like, you're too far away. Probably. You guys are just walking in this direction because of when you last saw me um, a little while ago no, it's okay I'm going to avoid you uh, that's a car that's in good nick too yeah quite a lot of quite a lot of you are interested in me and heading this sort of a way uh, that's alright I'll just go around the outside of you we're cool we're cool but yeah, some decent weapons back there. Uh, although now we've got a gun anyway, so we don't actually need those. Because the stupid prepper had a gun they just weren't using. Radio tower. Where's home for us? That's back here, isn't it? I really should mark that. With a note. Call that home. Um... The intercom. Meteorology station has a the intercom. Marked as like a, a person. Like like me. That's worth a look at some point. Interesting. The radio tower would be worth a, uh, a peek at to get a view of like the general area. But I am going to stay on task for now. Because that's just a field. This is where we want to go. We want to go to this moonshine still. Because we should, we know, we know there's a moonshine still. And where there's a moonshine still, presumably, there's moonshine. I mean, no guarantees, but... It's what the still is for. The liquor store was very obviously a major bust. We're coming back past the mansion now. 
Yep, and I've got a note on the road uh, down there, but that was just a car. We, no, we're going. We're going this way. Good. Yeah, north from here. Follow the road. Uh, there's a dead bloke on the off the road just over there. Oh, not entirely sure what menu I just opened. I think we turn left here. Yep, we don't know where that road leads to the north, but. Uh, quite close to, no, we're quite close to the church again now. We want to go all the way south again. We want to go through the, the forest area, which um, was quite safe, actually. So we, we'll have no trouble re-navigating that forest. Uh, I don't think, I don't remember there being any problems. We did see a, how big was the snail we saw earlier? Donut X3, yeah, CDDA. We are continuing Lila's story. I'm trying to make a li liquor run out to the liquor store, and it this big. Thank you, Fruity. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be on the lookout for that snail, but I think it should be fine. We're continuing Lila's story. So Lila was trying to, trying to go to the liquor store, but it's a bit... It's a bit of a mess over there right now. It's a bit overrun with zombies. Oh, let's, um... Okay, because it looks like it disappears if we get too far away. I need to know what the hell the intercom is. So I'm going to leave myself a note there. I don't think there was anything else interesting. We know there are hordes out in that direction. Coke Elizabeth. <laughs> Uh, hey, my practical skill with vehicles has increased to three. That's excellent. And here is the... Uh, who or what are you, by the way? Wasp. Okay, yeah. Friendly wasp. That's totally fine. We like that wasp. He's our friend. Um, mainly just because well, he doesn't seem to want to hurt us at all. So we're south of where we want to be now. It looks like the best way to cut into it is going to be on the other side of this forest. So we'll just navigate a bit up here and around there. And... Uh, it will all be be good. If we can get some goddamn moonshine, we will. Uh, we will. We will call that a win. So I'm not sure that uh, we are going to be able to, because I don't know if these places actually have any, or if they're usually just empty. We're gonna. We're basically going to park here. Go on foot. And uh, slow down, slow down quite a lot, actually. Not like, not like so much that I'm about to. There we go. That's fine. Park it like that. Uh, stop driving, and we will hop out the car. Close it behind us, and dip south. Okay. Decided to go for a night bike ride. Got murdered by pollen. Was short bike ride. Is pollen really bad at night? Um, zoom back in. I think we're in the right sort of area. Yeah, just for like a, a quick little jaunt through the forest. I don't have my key bound for like navigating through uh, trees easily. But if we just quickly push through in this direction. I mean, forests can be dangerous, but we're... We've gone a bit far north. There's where we want. It's empty, it's quiet. There's nothing to pick up nearby. There's a shovel. Actually, shovel would be would, would genuinely be quite useful. Um, so let's wield the shovel, if we can. Where is it? Shovel on the ground? Yeah. We'll wield that. We do have someone we could do with burying. Um, can we examine? You have no brew to ferment. Keg is empty. What's this? Craft items at the crafting table? No. What's this, though? Moonshine mash. Is that the stuff? I don't know anything about moonshine. 
Unfermented moonshine, just some water, sugar, and corn. Like good old auntie's recipe. Alright, so we uh, it needs to be fermented, but that's going to take too long. We don't want that. 25 yeast? No. No! Alright, okay. Terrible. Terrible. But Liam will be happy that we have got a shovel, I guess. Okay. There's some low-grade demonetization. We'll take that. And, uh... That will, uh... That will contribute to the, uh... The party supplies tonight back at... <coughs> uh, back at Liam's cabin. Yeah. Low grade. Okay, we actually we picked up a a bag of the devil's. What did you describe it as previous? The uh, the devil's sugar or something previously, and now we've got um, another something. We're gonna head that back, and then I'm going to uh, call it call the stream there. We have failed to. I do need to reverse out this situation actually, rather than head forwards. That should do. Uh, the quest for booze is going to continue. But I don't know where to look. Uh, the mansions would obviously have some, and they're the closest places, but they're not... They're not ideal. Because they're, they're obviously crawling with zombies, and I feel like the, the zombies are easier dealt with back at the town, Cape Elizabeth. That's right, you, you can genuinely man manufacture all that shit in this game, can't you? Uh, what have we just driven past? I think that's just a pig, right? Yeah, we've avoided the pig, everything's fine. We're not hurting any animals. Um, either by our own will, or even accidentally. It's all completely fine. So, cabin's back this way. And, uh... So I can't believe it. Okay, no booze at the cabin. No booze at the church. No booze... at, um... God, anywhere else that we've checked. So far. We haven't checked many places. The liquor store is like the, uh... The Holy Grail. It's 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 it's, it's where we want to go. It's the Ark of the Covenant. Oh my God! Don't crash Liam's car. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's Liam's car anyway. Examine the vehicle. Uh, name hatchback parentheses your followers. Yeah, I, I I think it's Liam's car. I don't think it's my car. I forget. Like I forgot our best friend from childhood's name. Uh, just. Oh yeah, just nip through that gap, that's fine. That's fine. We're actually going a bit fast, you know. I always do... drive a bit fast when we're... Uh, driving into a place, but there we go. Let's just park it there. We're not going to bother. It is Liam's cabin, and it was parked, like, directly in front. So I th generally think it is Liam's car. Stop driving. Is he going to notice, though? It looks undamaged. That tile. Headlight smashed? Um, okay. Yeah, it probably wasn't like that when we we got there. That's fine. It'll buff out. He won't notice. Oh, hello, Liam. Didn't I leave you inside? I thought I left you inside. Okay, me and... I brought a shovel! Hey, we can bury Guy, whose name I can't remember. Your best friend since childhood. How's it going? We'll, uh, we'll get right on that. Uh, ignore... Any damage to the car? I borrowed it for a bit. It's all good. Couldn't find booze. We'll go back out and try to find some eventually. It's totally fine. But we're going to leave that there for now. Uh, I really need to like sort out zones and stuff in here too. Like um, set a zone for books and reading materials, a zone for food, a zone for weapons crafting and stuff. Oh, and make another pointy stick. That's going to be like a major thing I want to do. 